<laughs> you got a whole country looking for you, Jay. Already right, know already. <laughs> he can go do whatever. Uh, no way, anyway, stops. Cool boy stuff. Yeah. Eighth round. Yeah. What's your yeah. thoughts on the fight? I mean, anyway, first of all, hats off to him. I mean, of course, we was going against him based off, I mean, the love we got for Cool Boy. And, and I really thought Cool Boy was going to pull it off. I mean, and I'm going to stick to my guns. That's still my guy. Um, great performance by AOA, though. The first thing I realized and I noticed, he was real, he was real relaxed. He was, in his, he was in his zone. You know what I mean? And I don't think it had much to do with him being in this country. He just, was, he just knew he had to perform. It was, it was time for him to perform. And he knew he had to put on a great show. So he came out nice and loose. You know what I mean? He looked real focused. Um, cool Boy, I felt like he was trying to match the energy, but he was trying to match it with intensity. I felt like he stood in front of him a little bit too much in the first round and tried to figure it out from there when really he should just, you know what I mean, box around a little bit. All right, youngin', box around a little bit, warmed up, worked behind his jab, you know what I mean? But I felt like he was trying to make a statement in the first round with saying, you know, I'm a man, I'm gonna stand right here, we're gonna get it in. You know what I mean? Because I guess because he figured that's what kind of fight it would turn into, which it would have. But I, I felt like he didn't have to stand there. But anyway, played it, played it nice and smart in the first round. He 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 was real relaxed. I realized he was relaxed when he just when he just was doing little shit like that. That that let me know he was ready, like speed wise. You know what I mean? He he was confident in his speed to, to shoot some lazy shit out there like that. All right, to shoot some lazy shit out there. You know what I mean? Because he, what he didn't do, he didn't give his body up. He just put his arm out there. Boom. Just like that, you know what I mean? That let me know, all right, boom, he relaxed in a good zone. He was working behind the shoulder a little bit. Now, also what I noticed in the first round, he was throwing shots to get reactions out of uh, Cool Boy to see where he would move and how he would move. The, what I mean by that is he had throw why he threw that wide ass overhand, you know what I mean? He knew, he it was like he knew the shot wasn't gonna land, he wasn't intended on it landing. He just wanted to see the reaction of Cool Boy, where he would go, what he would do, you know what I mean? And I felt like Cool Boy at times, Reacted to certain shots a little exaggerated. I felt like he put a little bit too much on it. You know what I mean? Balling up, turning. You think it was hit. the speed though? Yeah, it was the speed, but, but the, how you break speed is with distance. Um, so that's how you break speed. You know what I mean? You don't have to be right there. Just because a guy fast don't mean uh, you got to stand there and take the speed. You know what I mean? You take a step away from it. Um, that was the first round. Now, the second chess move by Inuay, which was intelligent, was he pressed the issue from the rip. In the second round, the second round he, he jumped right on Cool Boy. He went right back out there with the big shots. And what he what he did was he turned it from chess to now a fight. You know what I mean? What that means, he changed the pace, which gonna change the the pace in your heart rate. You know what I mean? A lot of people might say I'm going too far, but this is from being in there. Um, he changed the pace of his heart rate, so now the intensity go up. So now with the intensity being up. He got cool boy thinking, oh shit, what's next? You know what I'm saying? So now he just, he bombing out, he let shit go. You know what I mean? Boom. Now, also what he did was, he took the second round. For, for me, the first round was kind of close. But, to make you feel like you under, I'm gonna I'm 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 pick it up on you. So now you know you definitely lost the second round. So now, from him throwing the, from him throwing the big shots in the second round, Cool boy to me is saying in his mind, all right, I gotta get that round back. So now in the third round, cool boy pressing, anyway laying back. Now anyway still was letting his hands go, and th and that was one of the that was one of the major parts of the fight. His his um, reaction time, his reflexes, you know what I mean, his timing, all of that shit was on point. It was it was totally on point, and he was able to react every time cool boy shot a jab, shot a right hand. So. If you watch the third round again, anyway, sat back a little bit. He didn't sit back too much, but he sat back. He let Cool Boy go first. Boom! And then he beat him back. Boom! And then he beat him back. And he was punching off of angles. It was, it was a it was a beautiful performance. As the fight went on, he just controlled the pace. That was that was the major thing that I realized in that fight. And um, he it wasn't like Cool Boy was beat up real bad. It was just like mentally he was defeated. You know what I mean, I would say physically he was still in there. Mentally, I say because when he jabbed to that body. And Cool Boy feet didn't move and he stayed there. It's supposed to be an automatic response that you get that hand up or get ready to roll. He sat right there for that for that right hand. You know what I mean? He didn't he didn't move his head nothing. When he got stabbed to the body, boom, right hand shot right right, right over top. And it was just like, I mean he couldn't get away. Shot hurt him, of course. Knocked him down with a hook after that. Um Cool Boy gloves did touch the mat, but it happened too fast. 
referee was nowhere nearby, so he he got to get another shot in there. And that, was, um, that looked like the, it was the shot that did it. Actually, and it's crazy because I believe it was the first shot. I think the first shot hurt him more than the second. I think the second shot woke him back up because Kubway, boom, he hit the ground. His head, I was looking for his head to smack the ground. His head didn't smack the ground. Laid down, boom, he got up. Got right back up. He got he got up kind of quick, too. Mm -hmm. Legs wasn't too bad. But, you know, at that point, your head ringing. It's a lot of shit going on. The crowd going crazy. You know what I mean? He and he kept the intensity level, jumped right back on him. You know what I mean? It was a great performance. You can't be mad at it. The stab to the body. Yeah. It seemed like he set him up for that shot in yeah. the first round. Yeah. That's the, the one thing that stuck out to me. You know, stab to the body is... Floyd Mayweather, Andre Ward. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, came over the top with the... He he tried it. I don't know if that was the third round. He tried it a bunch of times. Yeah. Third round. It, it landed, but it didn't land flush. It kind of landed on, like, the top of the head. And or, the re he, and the or, or Cool Boy kind of caught it a little bit. A yeah. lot of shots Cool Boy was catching. Yeah. But, it like, the shots were halfway landed yeah. in the early part of the fight yeah. that would seem to land... Yeah. Round six, round seven, round eight. Yeah, because he still was alert. I mean, Kubo was still alert in the fight. But, but like I said, that's what I mean. Mentally, mentally, your mind start going other places. You start thinking about other things. And I mean, people won't believe that, but it, but it's really like that. So what I saw was Kubo was like, damn, not look, not so much looking for a break, but in that in that second, he had relaxed his body, stayed there, boom, he got caught with the body shot, snuck the right hand. It was just a clean ass right hand, super super sharp, and clean. You know what I mean? He was just on it. Anyway, was on it. You could tell. Anyway, had a great camp. You could tell. He just he, he had a great camp. Everything was ticking. Everything was ticking. And when a guy could punch any fast, that's double the trouble. You know what I mean? Because he don't just have fast hands. He got fast feet. You know what I mean? So, it, it, and and when a guy is shorter than you, it, it is tough. But I just felt like Cool Boy just tried to prove too much too early. Instead of easing his way into it, you know what I mean? A lot of people, they're going to question what I'm saying, but it's been tested. You know what I mean? You don't have to go out there and give up everything in the first round. And I feel like when he gave up too much ground, when he was planting his feet and sitting in the middle with the wide stance and just sitting there and trying to outpick him. You got to understand, when you're fighting a smaller, faster guy, you got to play that game. You, you can't go in there looking to just hit him with some shit. He is quick. Defensively and offensively, so you gotta take your time, warm up to it, break him down. You know what I mean? Let his body break down, let him expose himself. You know what I mean? Those are the things you should be doing, not just going out there looking to touch him and, and prove to him that you're a man, because he already know you're a man. And anyway, spoke on that. He said he got a lot of respect for, and he know he 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 bring a lot to the table. But I could tell, you know what I mean? The prep, not the not so much the preparation, but what I mean is like you could see the separation in the. In the two like energies, like you know what I mean, one of them like all the way on, the other one on, but it ain't, it ain't the knob ain't turned all the way up. You know what I'm saying? Does this solidify any we as pound for pound number one currently? I mean, you can if you if, if you want, but I mean, you can, four, you can because a four-time division champion. The thing is, down there we know it's light down there. You know what I mean? It's guppies down there. We don't really, but. Give him his credit because he went in there and put on a great performance. He did. He did beat a bad motherfucker. So I don't put him on a pound for pound. I mean, I don't care about the pound for pound list because I really don't have one. But I do put him on that bad motherfucker list. Mm -hmm. He is on that list. You know what I mean? Who do you want to see in the face next? Uh, I mean, they trying to set him up with the ball. I forgot his name. But Marlon, Marlon Tapalis? Yeah, so I guess, you know what I mean, Just to solidify it. Get him in there with him. I really don't, you know what I mean? Down there, it's, it's not too many names that I really pay attention to, to be honest. You know what I mean? But I heard some crazy shit talking about fucking with Tank, but I think that's later down the line. I don't think that's nowhere near. No, nah, I don't, I don't want to see that. Yeah, yeah. I feel, like, I, I feel like a lot of times what fans do is... They get big hit. Yeah, because, you know, he had a certain success. Now, you know, because... Yeah. No, that's that's not a good fight. Yeah. <laughs> I mean